This video is going to show you this STE01 unit, which has power lift and power tip. So it's a fully electric unit. Inside the box are batteries and a built-in charger. And this allows us to lift a drum and tip it into this vessel. We have this plastic Mauser drum, 220 litres. So we're going to push the unit forwards to go around the drum. In a second, we'll want to lift the unit so we can take our key and put it into the switch, switch to the on position, ready for lifting shortly. To secure the drum in place, we take our ratchet strap, pass it around the front of the unit and hook it on. We then tighten the strap using this ratchet on the right hand side. First of all, we take the loose end of the strap and pull it through so there's no slack in the system. We then take our handle and ratchet it. It doesn't need to be overly tight, it just needs to be snug and encompass around the belly of the drum. We then have this rim clamp here, and this is for securing onto the top edge of the drum and to preventing plastic drums from slipping up and down. This is adjustable in height, so we can remove this pin and we can lower this down if we have short drums or raise it up for higher drums. To secure it, we bring it forwards into position. We then take this top hook over the top. In this case, I'm just going to slacken it off slightly. We bring it down over and then we tighten it down. So once we're tightened, this is holding it in the vertical and the band's holding it around the centre. We then go to our rear control panel and we press our lift button. Push the unit forwards, just so the drums against the side of the vessel. And then, as this unit is a power rotate model, we press the rotate button to tip the drum forwards. Once the drum's empty, we can press the turn to bring the drum back to the vertical. can lower the drum down to the floor. The band can be adjusted to handle drums from 50 litres all the way up to 220 litres. When the drum's on the ground, we do a reverse to disconnect the drum. So first of all, we slacken off our rim clamp. We lift this off. We then need to remove the strap. But to do this, we hold the slack end. We pull the lever on the ratchet and pull it all the way around until it clicks. We then pull the ratchet away and this will provide some slack. So we're completely slack now. And we can walk around, remove the D-ring and remove the drum. We're now ready to go get another drum and tip it into our vessel. This video is showing how to connect the universal drum band to a steel drum or any other drum. First of all, we've passed our ratchet strap around the front of the drum and hooked it onto the other side of the band. We then take the strap through the ratchet, taking the loose end and pulling it towards us. This takes out any slack and ensures the band is as tight as it can be manually. We then take the ratchet and tighten it up around the drum. It needs to be tight, it needs to be snug, but it doesn't need to be over tight. Once done, pull this clip and store the ratchet in the closed position. The second step is to attach our rim clamp. We put this against the drum, take the top hook over the top lip of the drum, and then we tighten down this wing nut. Once tightened, this will support the drum 
And should this band move at all or slip against a slippery sided plastic drum, the rim clamp will keep the drum in position. This is the universal band. To take a drum out of it, we loosen off the top rim clamp by undoing this wing nut. We then take the top section off so the rim clamp is clear from the drum. We then take the loose handle, hold on to this, pull this lever to position the ratchet out and pull it all the way around until it clicks. When it clicks, the strap will be loose and you see that loose strap, we can then disconnect it from the other side of the band and because it's loose, we can bring it around and remove the drum. Looking again at our universal drum band, this band's adjustable for different drum diameters. At the moment, it's set up for a drum of 580 millimetres in diameter, but we can reduce this down to 350 millimetres. To adjust the band diameter, the arms are sliding, so I can pull the arm towards the other one, and I can also push this left arm towards the centre. We then need to take out some of these plates, and we do this by holding in the centre and removing these two pins. We then take one band in one hand, one band in another, and pull them apart. We bring them across and slot it into the next set of holes. We then take our pin, refit it in the two holes here, and we then have the band with a smaller diameter. You can see this section of the band is at the back. And there's other holes here, so we can adjust the band at a variety of di diameters depending on the drum we plan to tip. You can see now if I pull in this smaller drum, this drum's empty just for an example, you can see that this smaller diameter, the drum is on the centre line of the gearbox and we can then attach it with a ratchet as shown in the previous part of the video. We're now looking at the rear control panel. To switch the unit on, we turn the key to the on position. The gauge lights up, showing us our remaining battery capacity. When the unit is not in use, it's important it's kept charged by plugging in a mains power connector into the right-hand side of the machine. On the panel, we have an emergency stop button in the centre. This is pressed down to cut all functions to the unit. We can see the power display has gone off. To reset it, we lift it up. The other controls we have are lift and lower. So we simply press these down and hold them to operate. So lift and lower. And we also have tip forwards and, re and return.